Welcome to this episode of our mental health podcast, where we will be discussing the signs of narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic abuse is a form of emotional abuse that can leave lasting impacts on a person's mental health. It can be difficult to recognize and even more challenging to escape from, but we hope that this episode will provide you with some insight and tools to help you or someone you know who may be dealing with this type of abuse. Narcissistic abuse is characterized by a manipulative and controlling behavior of someone with narcissistic personality disorder. One of the most common signs of narcissistic abuse is gaslighting, which is when the abuser denies or distorts reality in order to make the victim question their own sanity. The abuser may also use projection, where they accuse the victim of behaviors or traits that they themselves are possessing. Narcissistic abusers often engage in love bombing, which is excessive flattery and attention early on in a relationship, followed by withdrawal and abuse once the victim is emotionally invested. Victims of narcissistic abuse may feel constantly on edge, afraid of triggering the abuser's anger or aggression. The abuser may isolate the victim from friends and family, leaving them feeling alone and dependent on the abuser. Victims of narcissistic abuse may experience physical symptoms such as headaches, stomach aches, and panic attacks. The abuser may use financial abuse, such as controlling the victim's finances or using money as a tool of manipulation and control. Narcissistic abusers may engage in smear campaigns, spreading lies, and rumors about the victim in order to damage their reputation and isolate them further. Victims of narcissistic abuse may feel a sense of shame and self-blame, believing that they somehow caused the abuse or that they deserve it. If you or someone you know is experiencing narcissistic abuse, it is important to seek help and support. You are not alone, and there are resources available to help you escape from the abuse and begin the healing process. Remember that the abuse is not your fault and that you deserve to be treated with love, respect, and kindness. We hope that this episode has been informative and helpful in recognizing the signs of narcissistic abuse. Thank you for listening to our mental health podcast, and we hope to see you again for our next episode.